time for small thinking is over. The time for trivial fights is behind us. We just need the courage to share the dreams that fill our hearts. Speaker Ryan may be suppressing a little bit of a laugh there. Seems a little skeptical. Perhaps for good reason, the president followed up with a tweet attacking Arnold Schwarzenegger's ratings on The Apprentice after announcing the time for trivial matters is behind us. The panel's back with me. Um, one sense is that it is tough for some of these Republican leaders to ignore entirely the yeah. spray of tweets and more that we get from the right. White House. Obviously, the many of the Republican, the Republican history has been to not be super close with Russia, right? So that makes people uncomfortable to begin with. But the other thing is that what Donald Trump is doing is systematically pulling the legs off of what it means to be a democracy. The, the leg of the, uh, having a free and independent press by fake news, the leg of the court system by so-called judges, the leg even of telling the truth, to Bakari's point. He wants to assert his power over the truth, which is why he lies so much. So the concern is for those members of Congress that it is better for them to not have to side with a guy who is doing that. And in fact, Ben Sass, the senator from Nebraska, said that we are at a... What did he say? A, a crisis. A crisis. No, but it was more than a, a crisis. A crisis of it was public a, trust. Uh, wait, no, but he had a better word than that. It Civilization was, warping crisis Civilization of public trust. Civilization warping crisis. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. What do you think? I, I think in some part of that, though, I think it's unfair to, and I hate that word, but I'm going to use it. I think it's unfair to actually blame Trump for particularly the press. One of the reasons that pe people have been distrusting the press, our present hosts excluded, have been distrusting the press for quite some time, uh, quite a long time. They haven't helped themselves. I feel like I'm in Jerry Maguire. Help me help you because they constantly, you want to talk about fake news and propaganda. I remember back there reporting with the Tea Party and they were cropping people out because they didn't want it to be known that there were black people going out to the Tea Party or they would write these insane stories about uh, people who were simply trying to uphold voters voter integrity and they were saying that what well, we were racist that we were bigots that we just took off our clan hoods i mean this distrust but, with the press has been the press's fault i'll give you that no. but, but but i'll give you that and but well, it's I, think there. This is, I think to. this i think this is larger than that because this white white house has eroded trust in our institutions let, let me give you the perfect example uh, the president of the united states the vice president kellyanne conway the chief of staff and sean spicer have all come out and said that they've had no campaign contacts with russia hmm. all of them have said that but what we now know is that jeff sessions had campaign contacts jared As kushner jd gordon it doesn't matter you can't jump in and jump out either you're going to tell you can, the but truth you can't, but you're you can't, either, but that's you can't not hold the issue. it against jeff sessions for not answering a question that's, in the no, past can, that they wanted I to ask hold, him in the future i can hold jeff sessions to the standard that you have to tell the truth under oath and he did I think we disagree on that. I will say, I do if, believe I think listen, in this debate, if story. everything becomes this constitutional democracy crisis and the world is coming to an end, then serious matters will not be addressed in the appropriate way. Let's we have to take each issue as it is. I think they have a, a very clumsy communications process right now that they need to get one, their handle on. One, I don't think that means nice. democracy it, it, is collapsing. Starting, one last starting quick point with the, with the Twitter stuff. I'm, I have a love and hate relationship with his use of Twitter. <laughs> I, I love it because I, I love the accessibility of any elected official being on Twitter that way, but at the same time, I hate it because, you know, he could give a really universally approved of speech at joint session Congress, and then that's completely overlooked by something that he tweets the next day because of who he is. And I don't know so if he understands the weight of that account anymore. I want to I want to just very quickly touch about Obamacare. Republican leaders are betting the only way for this to happen is to set a bill in motion and gamble that Republicans uh, won't dare to block it. Um, Lindsay, Senator Lindsey Graham is joining Rand Paul and is objecting to the secrecy of it all and this take it or leave it approach. Take a listen. Republican leaders who may be listening, don't give Lindsey Graham take it or leave it options because I'll leave it. It's my senator. Yeah, that is your, that <laughs> is you have Democrats now cheering for, for Lindsey Graham. I mean, it's the most amazing thing. But we need more Democrats. I think last night, Saturday Night Live skit, where you had the to be determined who was going to be the Republican to step up. You have Democrats who are now, not only do we wish we had George W. Bush, but you're cheering on John McCain and Lindsey Graham. Because what we've realized is, for seven years, 
the Republicans have talked about repealing Obamacare. They sponsored all these bills, but now we get here and they have nothing. Dana? Well, well they did have one, a plan that they passed in 2010, and they did have a number of plans that they put forward. Uh, the former House Speaker did not want to bring those to the floor. Uh, and I wish, actually, they would kind of go back to that 2010 one. Whenever they say they're going to re repeal and replace, replace with what? Why can't you just replace it with the market? One of the things that I still have my, my biggest criticism of the Republican Party is they are awful at messaging, awful at it, and this shows it.